What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a really cool combo of Tinkaton and Sludge Wave Eternatus. Now if you follow my channel closely, you might have noticed that fairly recently, I fought this exact combo and it just completely destroyed me. Uh, and so I made it my goal to find this team. I didn't find the exact team that beat me. This is actually in a different order. But I did find a team that does this exact combo over on Sableye VGC's channel. Uh, he didn't make this team, but he got second, I believe, in a big tournament with it. So I know it's really powerful. Basically the idea is you have Tinkaton with Bold Breaker, who can fake out even in the face of a Farigarath, and then just specs Terra Poison Sludge Wave with Eternatus, because Poison is actually a pretty good type into this meta. Uh, you also have just basically support from there on out. You've got Tornadus with the Tailwind. It's also Terra Steel in case you want a Sludge Wave next to it. And just Focus Sash, just max special attack, max speed. You've got Urshifu and Incineroar, a great combo because if you threaten Fake Out and then they can't protect because you've got Urshifu, that's just really powerful. And then you would think you would have the same thing going with Rillaboom, but you don't because this is a Choice Band Rillaboom. It's not a Rillaboom I've ever used before. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it, but maybe we'll see. But anyway, I'm really excited to just spam Sludge Wave as much as I possibly can. Uh, if, if you want to see me spam Sludge Wave, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's jump into things. Alright, we've got a Kyogre team to fight. Alright, Eternatus is pretty good then. Uh, the one problem would be the Archaladon. Um, would Eternatus lead work? Probably not, just due to Chen Pao being a threat. Um, if I can take terrain in the end game with Rillaboom, I can just destroy Kyogre unless they just, you know, Terra Grass or something, which they probably would. Aw oh, man, it's a tough matchup. Of course I pull a tough matchup. Not that fast on Urshifu either. Okay, um, do I want to just throw it turn one? Maybe. I need Urshifu. Um, maybe I go... I could go Torn Urshifu right off the bat. I mean, I have Sash. Not on the Urshifu, but on the Tornadus. The Tinkaton at Tornadus in the back. I could just match Tailwind and try to do something with Urshifu. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. Uh, I need to be really careful, though, about an Archaladon endgame, because if I don't have rain-boosted Surging Strikes or close combat to throw into that. I guess I could lock into Dynamax Cannon. Ooh, no trainer card. But the problem is then they're Terra Fairy and then, uh, you know. Uh, but I don't know if they know I'm Specs. Okay, Indeedee Kyogre. They're just going straight with Indeedee Kyogre. You know, I don't mind that, really. Um... Yes, I do. So that could easily just be a follow me water spout, and what do I do about it? Nada. My terror type is ghost. Okay. Uh, I think I just detect Urshifu. And I think I just want to throw a bleak windstorm. I don't want to click tailwind. Because I want to I want more information. I want to know the Kyogre, whether it's scarfed. I want to know if they want to go for Trick Room here. I don't think they would just attack with both. No, they don't. Just to follow me. And then a Water Spout. Okay, they're moving before Tornadus. Good to know. Thank you for being Sash, Tornadus. <laughs> Alright, doing a little chip to Kyogre is great. You're definitely Scarf, right? What's this Tornadus speed stat? Yeah, you have to be Scarf on max speed. Cool. So I know what that's doing. I'm gonna go ahead and go into a Tornadus here. Would they trick room? I 
I can go into Eternatus and protect. That way I can scout out if they're trying to trick him. And I can also set up Tailwind one turn longer. So I may be willing to do that this next turn. Just click Sludge Wave, set up Tailwind, give them to Tornadus. Okay, an Indeedy swap. Gotcha. Into Archaladon. Okay. Well, I don't want to give you a uh, Tornadus, uh, I don't know. Do I want to go Sludge Wave? This is such a hard call because, I mean, I have Urshifu in the bag. They might think I want to Dynamax Cannon, and they might do something about that. And the something to do about that would be to Terra into Fairy if you have it. So I'm gonna Sludge Wave and I'm gonna Tailwind. I'm committing. I'm committing hard to this mode. I'm gonna use this Eternatus to take out everything else. And if you try to swap or Terra your Artaladon, you're in trouble. And plus, I won't give you any defense boosts if you're just immune to the move, so. Okay, no Terra. That's fine. This probably KOs Kyogre, but even if it doesn't, like, who cares? Yeah, li living on a few HP, that won't be too big of a deal. Now, did you go for, like, Draco Meteor, or Body Press, or... Electro shot would probably be the scariest thing. Draco Meteor. We eat that, right? No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is how I want to go. All right. Now we know they have in the back. We know they have Indeedee. We've got a lot of Tailwind left. And who's the faster between the two? 126, 124. Okay, Tinkerton's faster, which is actually kind of bad. Maybe I'll just go Helping Hand. Close combat into our Chaladon. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Now, they could Terra now. That would be bad. Then I should have Surging Strikes. Uh, but it's just Indeedee coming in. Okay, no Terra. That's awesome. I think this knocks out. I would think so. Yes! Okay, bye our Chaladon. That's good. That was the big scariest thing left. And Urshifu in the rain seems to be in a pretty good position with how much Tailwind we have remaining. They have one more turn of Psychic Terrain. But that's not really going to affect anything. We don't have any priority moves anymore. And just Chen Pao. Two turns of Tailwind. Gigaton Hammer taken DD from here? I hope it does, because that will move first. And then we get the rain boosted surging strikes into Chen Pao. With the Sword of Ruin and Indeedy being that low already, I think Gigaton Hammer takes it. But Tinkerton always does a little bit less damage than I think it will, so we'll see. Oh, no follow me anyway. And it takes it. Good job, Tinkerton. Now, I think Surging Strikes, Mystic Water, and the Rain should take Chen Pao. I guess I don't remember how the Surshifu is trained. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Awesome. Good- oh, only two? What?! 
Okay, is this a max attack Urshifu or something? All right. <laughs> cool. Bye, Chen Pao. Rain stops. Weirdness stops. But we still have one turn of Tailwind, so we can take out Kyogre, no problem. Let's go. Let, let's go. Yeah, like, send it out. So I can knock it out. Good game, Nick. Beast Ball Kyogre is also really cool. That thing is a beast. Yeah, I want to check the attack stat on this thing. Not, not max, but that is a lot of attack. Okay. I guess it's just helping hand. Close combat. Good game. And they're sticking through it. Do, do they think they might be faster? Or I might throw? No, I'm not gonna throw. I'm just gonna hit you. Bye, Kyogre. <laughs> that was fun. I, I did get to Sludge Wave, but it wasn't that impactful. I, clicking a different move was probably better. But, uh, still, good game. Alright, they've got Maridon, and they've got Bundle Ninetales. And also maybe a Trick Room package with the Farigaraf, Iron Hands, and King Gambit. Other than King Gambit, I really just want to do Tinkatina Eternatus. Because I can actually fake out through Farigaraf because of Mold Breaker. Once Eternatus Terra's, it's not too threatened. Um... Uh, is that the way to go? Bringing Rillaboom feels like a must, although it also feels kind of bad <laughs> against all the ice they've got. Um, Incineroar or Urshifu? Urshifu does- I don't like Urshifu here, if I'm being honest. I don't love Incineroar either. Uh, I think- I think I will just do Tinkatin Eternatus. That doesn't seem that bad. Something to hit King Gambit would be nice. I guess that is the biggest threat. I guess that has to be Urshifu then. Whether I like it or not, and then Rillaboom. Not having the speed control feels kinda bad. But Tornadus just... Tornadus hurts me if I bring it. Tornadus does nothing into anything. All Tornadus is gonna do is it can Rain Dance, I guess. And it can Tailwind. But then once I start throwing Bleak Windstorms, I'm just gonna give King Gambit boosts. Oh, and no trainer card? Come on. So I'm gonna play this one without speed control. I don't... I'm not super confident. Because the Bolt Beam combo of, of uh, Maridon plus all the Ice people, very scary. Okay, but this ain't so bad of a lead. I can get a lot of momentum out of this lead with my Sludge Wave play. Because typically Maridon will be specs, so they have no way to stop me from hitting them. Oh, uh, they could swap into, like, King Gambit. But that's about it. Uh, I'll get the fake out on you. Do I want to commit Terra? Grass Terra, Ghost Terra. Neither of that does much for me. So yeah, I want to... and then... Grass here? Nah. I'm going all in with Fake Out Sludge Wave. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I think I'm in a pretty good position here. My Terra is coming out first. Uh, I guess they're not going to Terra Maridon. Yep, we get our fake out. They were faster than Eternatus, good to know. Hopefully this KO is Maridon. If we can KO Maridon, I think we're in a great position. Oh, we're living on just a prayer. Oh, wow. And Hyper Voice boosts Perigraph Special Attack with the Throat Spray. Okay. Well, that was awesome. Um, who might they go into? They might try to Volt Switch out into King Gambit. Or something. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just Gigaton hammer the Farigaraf, make sure they can't take speed control that way, and swap into Rillaboom. Yeah, because I can't let Eternatus get hit by an Electro Drift here. Man, I'm just living on one on both of them? Come on, man. Are they EB'd for that? Come on. Uh, is this a Terra from Maridon? Yeah, I assume it's a Volt Switch, but it could also be an Electro Drift. I would much rather see an Electro Drift. Into a, what's now Rillaboom, not into Tinkerton. I don't want to lose Tinkerton yet. Helping Hand. Into Eternatus then? Just a Volt Switch, got it. Yeah, that does so much damage. Oh, uh, it's fine though. I'm not Assault Vest for Laboom here. And once I take off a Rigraph, I can start using my priority moves. Um, once I get Terrain back, because they're going to just be able to go right back into Maridon. I kind of wish I had a Ground type. Oh, Iron Hands? Whatever. Well, I guess they have Fake Out pressure now. But they don't know I, I don't have Fake Out on this one. Well, they might know. They might. They may have seen this team before. But they. Sh I should at least be exerting the threat of maybe I have Fake Out. I don't think you would go right back into Maridon with the risk of Fake Out. You would reveal your fourth now. Iron Bundle is your last. Okay. How do I position to win this? Urshifu is pretty much useless. Rillaboom is nice to have. I think I swap out Rillaboom here. And I'll just chip down the bundle in case it's sashed. Yeah. I'm basically giving up Urshifu here. It's not going to be able to do anything. It'll go down to a hit from any of their remaining Pokemon, basically. Okay, they do fake out the Tinkaton slot. Smart. And Urshifu takes that. Surprising, but okay. Get another Sludge Wave off if neither of these go down. I want to hit Iron Hands because I feel like I, I could put that into Sludge Wave range. I'm going to play rough that slot and I'm going to... I could just close combat the bundle slot which forces them to attack Urshifu. Yeah. Not that they would do anything else, but now they like have no choice but to freeze dry there. Nice. Oh, that's good damage. Tinkerton, well done. Heavy Slam shouldn't do that much. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. So now I should be able to get a Helping Hand Sludge Wave off. Excellent. Um, would I go Helping Hand? No, I think I would want to hit Bundle in case it is Sash. Um, they could also do the play of Protecting Bundle here. How do I play around them protecting Iron Bundle? I'm not sure I have a good play if they just want to give me hands. I could lock into a single target move, but then... Then my next turn isn't any better. I think this is my only reasonable play. Just don't protect Bundle, please. 
Freeze dry, yes, love to see it. Now, hopefully they weren't Sash on Bundle, but I mean, they probably were. No, yes, let's go. That's so good. Okay, we... I don't want to say we win. I don't think we win. Do we win? Yeah, because I could just come in and grassy glide even if you knock us both out. We're good. I win. Haha! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that bundle not being Sash was big. Um, where is the Sash on that team then? I guess the Ninetales had it. Um, that bundle wasn't doing absurd damage. It might be Cloak Bundle. Sash Ninetales. I'm not sure where the a whether the AV was on. It was probably on Iron Hands. Okay. See, I'm just gonna throw a Gigaton Hammer and a Sludge Wave, and battle's canceled. Good game. That was fun. Go get a trainer card though. All right, we've got Duskmane Necrozma. Uh, they also have Sinistra. They have Blood Runer Saluna. But they also have Gapdos. I'm worried that's a coaching Gapdos. And Serraledge. You never see Serraledge anymore. Oh, uh, and as well as Water Ogre Pond. So Eternatus feels great into everything that isn't their Restricted. What do I have for their Restricted? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, to be honest, that's, that's a really uncommon Restricted. And this team just does not have a lot for it. I was thinking, uh, oh, just go Urshifu, set up rain, blast it that way. No, they have Sinistra and Ogre Pond to stop that. Oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> I... Um... Huh. Little Boom would just help them, really. Uh, I guess I can click Flamethrower. So Tinkaton Eternatus isn't that bad. I could blow up everything else and then bring in Urshifu, to be honest. Take out their grass types, then bring in Urshifu. Um, I do think I want Rillaboom. Do I want Rillaboom? No, I want Incineroar. That, locking that in. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, having Incineroar and Tinkaton with Urshifu could work out in the end game. Oh, with Sinistra? Good card. Love that little guy. Okay. Zapdos and Sinistra? Sure, thank you. Love it. Uh, is there any reason for me to hold Terra? I've got Ghost on both of the back mons. I see no reason for Terra Ghost. Other than on Incineroar versus that Zapdos could be good. But there might not be a Zapdos in a second. So... I'm hitting the go button. Let's see, what's the worst case? Zapdos protect, Sinistra just takes it, because Sinistra's a beast, and sets Trick Room, I guess? But if you protect Zapdos, that's not a big deal. Um... I guess, give me Zapdos, get Trick Room up by living, and then bring in your Necrozma. Necrozma does threaten with its psychic moves. Okay. Yep, we get the fake out, no Terra, no swap. Zapdos is not Scarfed. Not that it matters anymore. Well, it matters, because if we saw that it was Scarf, we would know nothing else is. Sinistra lives! Oh, it's a Focus Ash. Okay, it wasn't go- a Poison! Wait, no, that means they get Trick Room and a Free Swap. If they were going for Trick Room. Uh, but we forced them down to their last two. Yeah, they got Trick Room. Oh no, it's gonna be Blood Moon and Necrozma, and we're gonna get swept. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Uh-oh. 
Well, that's not O Spaghetti as if I ever saw one. Yeah, there's Ursa Luna, which can Earth Power either slot, and Necrozma, also very scary. Hooray! Um. Stall out four whole turns of Trick Room. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think we win this. <laughs> Not that clicking Sludge Wave is any good anyway. Here, uh, I'm gonna Gigaton Hammer the Ursa Luna, and I'm gonna go into Incineroar. That'll give me a Fake Out turn. That'll help me last a little longer. Um, but no, we are in the worst position. We got, we're, we're up 4-2, but they have four turns of Trick Room and both Sweepers on the field. No, this is not it. This is bad. I don't even know how I'm going to ever beat the Krosma. They have Terra left as well, we don't. Just a Protect from Ursa Luna. Surprised to see that. And the Swords Dance from Necrozma. Okay. That's terrifying. Alright, that's one turn of Trick Room down. Um, Fake Out... Honestly, fake out Ursa Luna. And maybe get in Eternatus? I really don't know what the right play is on any of these turns. Oh, I'm, I just need to try to survive. I'm just trying to survive. I'm trying to slow them down enough. Once Trick Room ends, I mean, Necrozma has Sword Dance. It probably doesn't also have Trick Room. Alright, and they're gonna burn a Terra now. I guess they're going on the offense. Or is this defensive Terra? Is that water? Steel? Uh oh. Well, there goes Eternatus. <laughs> Sun Steel's about to strike him down. Ursa Luna flinch. Sunsteel Strike into Eternatus. Uh, if anything can live on my team, it's the Restricted, right? Let's Terra Boosted. Yeah, goodbye. Ouch. That hurt. But now we get another Fake Out turn. And I'm also going to throw this at Eternat. Uh, no. Oh, Mm. Two whole turns of Trick Room remain. Yeah, we might, we might be able to do this. Fake out here. Will-O-Wisp Necrozma. They might take out Tinkerton with Sunsteel, but I doubt they take out Incineroar. And we get the Willow first! Incredible. Sunsteel, yeah. But you're burned now. How much does that even do? Almost all of it. Ouch. In theory, you could take these both out now. I'm gonna helping hand knock off Necrozma. Make sure they're both in Surging Strikes range. I don't know if I can still win this. But if I can take a hit from the Ursa Luna with Incineroar. Hyper Voice, ooh, that leaves me really low. 
What do you have that can hit Incineroar? If you have a coverage move that hits it, I basically lose. Good damage from knockoff. You're just clear amulet, good to know. Photon Geyser! Photon Geyser! Why'd you click? Why'd you click Photon Geyser? Oh, that's huge! Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. Okay, Necrozma goes before Incineroar. Could protect here. There's no way Urshifu's taking a Photon Geyser. But if I can weaken the Ursaluna slightly. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the right play is. It's so close. Okay, Photon Geyser into Urshifu, correct. Get some damage off on the Ursaluna. Hopefully they go for like Blood Moon, and then they can't click it again. Yes! Oh, into Urshifu? No way! No way! Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, that won us the game. Oh my goodness. Now they can't Blood Moon, which is their strongest move. I can Surging Strikes this Necrozma. Hopefully that's enough. And I can Parting Shot the Ursaluna. Weakening, weakening it even more so that Urshifu can take it. Oh my goodness. I think we've got it. That doesn't do very much, but it is enough. Yeah, you take that really well. I'm glad I got that Helping Hand knockoff into you. Oh man. Goodbye. Whew. And then we just have to take a hit from the bear, which no longer has a life orb and is now at minus one. Well, is about to be at minus one. Yeah. Because Malkoff wasn't going to do anything else to it. Relevant. This earth power. You don't eat that. You finally got rid of You should have done that a long time ago. Then you could have got a free uh, single target hyper voice in here. Which I think we would have taken. And then I just click Surging Strikes and it's over. Whew! Good game, team! Everyone contributed to that one. Everybody. Oh. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and click the buttons. That was that was a fun one. Good game to my opponent. I I did not expect I got put in a bad position by that <laughs> one HP poison. Letting them get Trick Room. Uh, well, they were good. They were going to get Trick Room anyway, but first of all, Sludge Wave is only 10% chance to poison. In case you didn't know, it's only 10%. So that was really unlikely to happen, and they just cancel. Ah, oh, good game. And you got a good trainer card, and you're using my favorite Pokemon. Props. All right, here we go against Cali Ice Double Genie Golden Go. I Urshifu and Rillaboom. Uh, Landorus and Tornadus. Is this a fast Ice Horse? Because that's a fast team. They've got Fake Out plus Urshifu. They've got maybe a little bit of a Rain team going on there. They've got a lot of fire. Yeah, it's probably a Rain Dance Tornadus. Um, Landorus is kind of scary, but... Sludge Wave doesn't work against their Steel type. Well, of course it doesn't work against their Steel type. I don't hate Urshifu, except for Rillaboom. I do kind of hate Incineroar, <laughs> honestly. Uh, Landorus is just a, such a hard matchup for this team. I think I need to get rid of Landorus as soon as possible. So I think I'm going to lead Tornadus Urshifu. Do my best to take out Landorus. I don't see Rillaboom really doing much. Like, I kind of feel like bringing it just for a ground resist, but it doesn't really do a whole lot into the team. So I think Tinkerton is not bad. And then Eternatus. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it.
Okay. Yeah, it, it's a scary match, because I'm not sure what to expect. Am I expecting it to be a fast ice horse? That's a cool shot. Am I expecting... Are they baiting me into thinking they're a fast team and then they will just trick room the whole time? <laughs> Tornadus Golden Go. Versus Tornadus Urshifu. Well, I need to get rid of Golden Go more than I need to get rid of Tornadus. But I don't want to get Bleak Windstormed. If I force a Terra on Golden Go, that's great. I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, I'm just gonna Rain Dance Surging Strikes. I don't feel pressured to Tailwind turn one, but if they double attack and then I don't get Tailwind and they do, I could be in a bad position. Terra Steel, they're double attacking. I just lost turn one. <laughs> No, if I take the Bleak Wind, I'm okay. If I can take the Bleak Wind, I might be okay. Yeah, I can take the Bleak Wind. No speed drop, please. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. That should knock out Golden Go. Great. Great turn one. Got rid of their Terra. Got rid of their Steel type. Love it. Okay, that's good. That's so good. <laughs> That was so risky. <laughs> I thought I had lost in turn one. Oh, but maybe I won turn one. We'll see. We'll see. They still have Landorus, potentially. And I gave them rain to never miss with their uh, Saiyan Seer Storms if they want to do that. They can just bring that in and Tailwind now. Yeah. But I could just Bleak Wind. Would I want to give them Urshifu, or would I want to Bleak Wind Detect, and then Tailwind next turn give them Urshifu? Yeah, I I'm gonna Bleak Wind and Detect. Oh, they Sunny Day! Interesting! I did not expect Sunny Day on that team. Tell me I hit the Landorus at least. Nope, we hit the other one. And it's just Sansir Storm, so you could have missed that anyway. Still, what I really want to do is hit your Landorus, so I'm going to Bleak Wind again. Sludgeway's looking pretty good in the end game. If I can hit that torn, hit that freaking Landorus eventually. Bleak Wind Storm. And in case you try to pull something funny, I will Surging Strikes. I know that I'm going to lose my uh, Urshifu here. I intend to. But you could miss a Sandseer. No, you didn't. Okay. Well, you hit a Sandseer. So it's only fair that I hit a Bleak Wind Storm. Right? That feels right to me. Awesome. And now, unless you're Scarf, I'm faster, right? 168 is your max speed? Way faster. Does Sludge Wave KO? I don't know. I need to get up Tailwind. I mean... Do I need to Sludge Wave? I really don't. I really don't need to Sludge Wave. If I'm not gonna Sludge Wave, I don't need to Terra either. But that means I could Terra and Sludge Wave. Then there's no point. I could just Dynamax Cannon, it's fine. Just 
think they might protect, you know? I don't know. I'm gonna Tailwind Dynamax Cannon. Yeah, they just protected. But at least I don't lose my Tornadus or anything. They need to get a speed drop on my Eternatus right here to have a chance. Well, I mean, th there's, the game's not over. But a, t a speed drop on my Eternatus here would be huge for them. Double dodge? Man, nobody can connect these moves today. I put up rain. You're the one who decided you didn't want to play in the rain. I don't even have anything that's rain boosted. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just bleak win now. I'm gonna Dynamax Cannon. It should be fine. Should be a great time. <laughs> and we know your landers isn't Scarf. So goodbye. Okay, feeling better. Now let's see who's faster. I'm max speed, so I would like to just go first and hit this Bleakwing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now what do you have left? Is it is it the horse? No, it's Urshifu. Oh, it's Dershifu. I'll just bleak wind Dynamax Cannon. I don't see any reason to Terra either of these. Cool. No Ice Horse. Battle's canceled. GG. This team. Did this team just go 4 0? Yeah, that's awesome. We are back. I think this is probably the most impressed I've ever been with Tinkerton. Tinkerton didn't really do a whole lot other than support, it was the Eternatus show. But oh my goodness, this team is so good. Even when I got into bad positions or bad matchups, this team had everything it needed to get me out of it. I I'm so glad I found this team. Thank you Sableye VGC for making this rental code. Thank you whoever built this team for giving it to you. Uh, I hope you guys at home enjoyed too. Try this team. Try it. It's, it's so fun. And anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.